joining us this evening on Twilight Showcase Radio and, and also on Facebook Live and on a WMEX 1510 AM. As we have been saying all evening, we are just delighted to have Prudence Woodhouse back with us. Prudence, how are you? It's been so long since we have seen you in WATD. How have you been? I'm doing very well, thank you so much. Sandy, how are you? Oh, we're just great. Uh, we have so much Glad fun here. It. And we're just delighted because I know the last time you were with us, we said, wouldn't it be great if we had a visual to go along with it? Um, and uh, tonight we do. So people are joining us on Facebook Live as well as on WATD Radio. Um, and I believe a little bit later in the second half of the show, um, Emily Clark will be joining us as well. Is yes, that so right? I hear. That's remarkable, isn't it? That's great. That's <laughs> great. And I, and I think we're going to be able to convince Prudence at the end of the show to stick around for a little after hours on Twilight for Twilight Showcase after hours on Facebook. So we will get her back again later as well. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, Prudence is just. It just does enlightening satire, um, and um, she's very outspoken, and we enjoy that. She she's willing to talk about almost any topics, and we have a lot of fun with her. So we you'll get a, a feel for her throughout the evening. Um, now Emily Clark, and they're they're very good friends. Um, Emily Clark is a multi has multifaceted lyrics. She has stirring music. She's also a journalist for the Old Colony newspaper. Um, that's in the Plymouth area. She's an author and she's a poet. And not only will she speak with us in the second half, but um, we're going to play her music throughout the show. Prudence was okay. Prudence, you were okay with us playing that throughout, after, in between when we talk with you. Is yeah. that right? Oh, certainly. Absolutely. Good, good. And uh, we like it because Emily, um, Prudence talks about important topics and Emily writes music about them. So it, it works out quite well. Um, remember that if you're not on, seeing us on Facebook Live, you, it's very easy to find us. In fact, you can even follow along. We've posted the names of the songs and links to the, our guests. And you just go to my Facebook page, and there's a shortcut to take you there. Just go to twilightshowcase.org. That's Twilight showcase.org now in the studio we also have Jay, Jay I do not want to dare say your name wrong um, but let me, t we'll, we'll, we'll move the camera a little later so that you'll be able to see the audience but we have um, it's actually Emily's husband is here with us Jay and Jay if you want to grab that, mic, or maybe Prudence do you know his last name by any chance? You know I believe it's Dravenstadt and he goes by Count Von Dravenstadt but he doesn't <laughs> like to um, share that with everyone so so well, at least his I real can, name, yes. At least I can pronounce the count part yes, correctly. Yes, Count von Dravenstadt, I think is appropriate. I love it. Well, we will surely let you nay say the name because you do it so well. Um, now, let's see. In addition to that, we are just... It's such a, a moving night for us because um, Adam Benedict, who you might remember from several years ago when we were still at the WATD studios, was an intern with us, and um, he's also a fine musician um, and and martial arts instructor. You're, you're uh, multifaceted as well. He has joined us in studio tonight, and we're going to work real hard on convincing him to come back a little more often. It's so good to see you, Adam. We also have John Donovan operating the uh the high quality camera and as you know John Donovan will record the show this evening and uh, put several segments up on YouTube later on in the week so we'll keep you posted about that and we have Tim McKenney who's at WATD holding down the fort and we're so glad that he is there um, so coming up from soul searching to satirical singer songwriters journalists and actors illuminate our remote studio with more passion and purpose right here on Twilight Showcase Radio. Well, Prudence, we, we need to just really get down to some issues now. Um, there's one that is near and dear to my heart because I complain about it frequently, and that is in, in Plymouth. By the way, do you live in Plymouth now? Well, yeah, on the border of it. On the border, right. okay. Well, one of the pet peeves we both have about Plymouth is street names oh, in Plymouth. Right. Oh, God, yes. Well, you know, the whole problem is, Sandy, that, you know, a perfect example, okay, and I, I think, honestly, I think it's a conspiracy. I'm sorry, I do. 
Because when you get on Main Street, think about it. You're from another country, okay? And you're on Main Street, and then it becomes, um, well, first of all, you're on Court Street. Then it's Main Street. Then it's Main Street Extension. You haven't taken a turn or anything. You're still on the same road. <laughs> so you've gone from Court to Main Street to Main Street Extension. But wait, hold on. It's now Sandwich Street. <laughs> now, be, as you go down Sandwich Street, it becomes what? Warren Avenue. <laughs> You're on Warren Avenue. And then all of a sudden, it's State Road, which is also, by the way, 3A. It's a concerted conspiracy to keep tourists trapped and in Plymouth so they can't escape. It really is. And on top of that, have you noticed that certain parts of the street, for example, Warren Avenue, are considered so much, you know, classier. It's total, it, it, it's a caste it's system or something. I don't understand. All I know is people have disappeared into this <laughs> vortex, never to be seen again. So if you're wondering where the tourists are, they've all ended up, like, in New Jersey or something. Because they can't get out. <laughs> I, I think that's very, and again, as we've said, enlightening. Your, well, your, yes, your I think it needs to be looked at, don't you? Oh, I, I think so.